five things a woman must bring to the table in a relationship. If you are a man, I know that you want to have a happy, fulfilling, and satisfying relationship with a woman. Then you must make sure that whichever woman you decide to date is bringing these five things to that relationship. Else, you are going to be unhappy and never satisfied dating that woman. Number one, loyalty. When we talk about loyalty, we always make this mistake of thinking that loyalty is all about sexual loyalty. No, loyalty goes beyond sex. Now, let's talk about the different forms of loyalty. Number one, sexual loyalty. You must date a woman who doesn't cheat. You must date a woman who is not loose. A woman who doesn't go out there to sleep around, even when she's your girlfriend. There are some of you guys who are dating this kind of women. You are basically sharing your girlfriend with other men. And you think that you are ever going to be happy in that relationship. You can never be happy in such a relationship. In fact, you feel embarrassed. You feel ashamed of yourself that you are with a woman who is promiscuous, who goes out there to embarrass you, sleep around, and then come back, and you accept her back. Then, of course, there is emotional loyalty. If things go bad for you today, will your woman support you? Will your woman stay with you? Will your woman stick with you? It's okay for a woman to be sexually loyal to you. But can she also be emotionally loyal to you? If you lose your ability to provide for that woman today, if you lose your ability to provide and give her the kind of lifestyle that she's enjoying today, will she st still be with you? There are some women who, the moment their men lose their job or their business goes, goes bad, they'll start insulting that man. They'll start looking down on that man. They'll start disrespecting that man. They'll start basically working all over that man simply because he has lost his ability to provide for her. Date women who will always remain emotionally loyal to you. Date women who can stand by you even in your most difficult moments. Now, the third form of loyalty is verbal loyalty. Don't date a woman who you will tell something in confidence then she will go out there and publicize it to the whole public. A woman who doesn't respect your boundaries is not a woman that you can be happy being with. A woman who knows that if I go out there now and tell this thing that my mom told me to outsiders is going to bring a lot of problems, it's going to bring a lot of embarrassment to him. Yet she still goes out there and says or tells the public or tells outsiders those things. That woman is not loyal to you. She's not verbally loyal to you. A woman who you cannot trust with certain things about your life is not a woman who is loyal to you. So don't be with that kind of woman. The next thing that a woman must bring to the table is ability to compromise. If you are dating a woman who never compromises, who never prioritizes the needs of that, of that relationship over her own personal needs, then that relationship is bound to never work. You will never be happy in that relationship. For example, your girl wants to go out for a night party with her, with her fellow friends, with her female friends, and you tell her, babe, I don't like the fact that you are going out by this time of, of the night. Don't go out. Now, this girl knows that if I go out, that this thing is going to affect our relationship. She knows it, but she now decides to put her own personal needs first and go out, even when she knows that that thing is going to affect the relationship between two of you. But when a woman is able to always prioritize that relationship over her, over her own personal needs, that is a woman who is good for you. That is a woman you are going to be happy dating. So always make sure that Whichever woman you decide to date is the kind of woman that knows how to compromise, knows how to always put the relationship above, above her own personal needs. And you also as the man, you should also be the kind of man that knows how to put the relationship above your own personal needs. You, don't, you can't be selfish and expect a woman to also be, be able to compromise when you are selfish. So it has to be both ways. You compromise, you compromise. That is how you guys can be in a very healthy happy and fulfilling relationship. The third thing that your woman must bring to the table is financial support. If you are with a woman who doesn't believe in spending her money on a man, you are basically setting yourself up for problems, for different problems. The worst part is if you end up marrying this kind of woman. Because this kind of woman, they could have money, but they will, not, they will never bring it out, even when they are seeing you struggling to carry the responsibilities of the family. But assuming you have a woman who believes that it's my duty to support my man, it's my duty to spend my money on my man, it's my duty to spoil my man. You don't always have to be the one spoiling your woman. Your woman should also be able to spoil you.
if you are dating a woman who believes that a woman can spend her money on a man, you will enjoy relationship. And if you are a girl or a woman who is watching my videos, trust me, if you ever develop the habit of spending your money on men, good men, not just any kind of men, good men, you will enjoy being with men because men are not used to women spending money on them. So if they come across a woman who spends money on them, <laughs> they will be happy. They will feel special and they will transfer all their love, all their care. Even they will spend more money on you because of the little one you spent on them. So develop the habit of spending money on men. If you are a woman, develop the habit of spending money on men. It will kill you. It will affect you. It will make you broke. Don't always out there looking for men that will spend on you. Also spend on men too. The more you spend on a man, the more the man feels that this girl actually loves me. Because only a woman that loves the man can invest financially on that man. So if you are a man, never date a woman who is stingy. A woman who expects you to spend while she holds her own. A woman who believes my money is my money while your own is, is her own. That is a gutter mentality. That is a poverty mentality. Don't date girls who have poverty mentality. They are no good. They will take and take and take until you don't have any more to give them. And that is when they will leave you. They two men who are kind. They two men who are supportive. They two men who don't see any problem supporting their men financially. If you're dating a stingy woman, it's, it's you that cost it. Because you told her this girl is stingy, yes, you decided to date her. This is a prerequisite before you date a woman in 2024. Always make sure that she's the kind of woman that believes in spending her money on a man. Personally, before I date a girl, before I agree to date a girl, I will use indirect ways to see if I can get her to spend her money on me. If she's not able to spend her money on me, I will leave her because I can't be spending my money on you and you can't spend your own on me. That means I'm, a, I'm that means I'm basically foolish for, for doing that. So avoid women who don't believe in spending money on men. Avoid them because they are absolutely no good. The fourth thing your woman must bring to the table is intellectual support don't go around dating empty women most women these days are empty upstairs that's true that's facts majority of women are empty upstairs you see a girl who doesn't know basic knowledge like if you ask her how many continents are in the world she'll tell you five or she'll tell you three or she'll tell you i, I don't know if you ask her who was the former president of nigeria they'll, they'll tell you sanya bacha someone that led nigeria <laughs> in the 20th century most girls these days are empty upstairs. I'm not saying this as an insult. This is facts. Majority of women are empty upstairs. Not, I'm not saying all. I'm saying a lot of these young girls out here are intellectually poor. So if you want to date a woman, date a woman who has the ability to be to be giving you intellectual support. Date smart women. Date women who are intelligent. Date women who are mentally exposed. Don't date girls who are empty. All they know, all they want is a man that will take care of them, that will give them they will be a lifestyle. You can't support your man intellectually, but they're looking for a man that will spend on you, that will take care of you. You can't give your man reasonable advices. If you are a man, take this to the bank. Your biggest advisor in this world, especially if you, are, if you want to marry, is your woman. You can have your lawyers, you can have your advisors, but no advice hits deeply as the kind of advice your woman will give to you when you are cordoned, cordoned up with her in bed. You are calling with your woman in the night. Probably rain is falling, everywhere is cold. You are calling with your woman in bed around 2 a.m. And she starts giving you advices. Most likely, you will heed more to those advices than the ones your lawyers gave to you. Because it was given to you in a romantic moment. So, don't date women who don't know how to give you good advices. Don't date women who you can't re 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 rely on intellectually. To, make, to expand your business, to grow your business. There are some women who you can't even call them. Babe, I'm about to sign this deal. I'm about to uh, make this business arrangement. What is your opinion? There are some women that you can't even call because you know that they are empty. They won't offer you any reasonable advice. Nothing beats having a partner. You can call. Wait, wait. You are probably in a meeting. With your guys or with your business partners, I tell them, wait, wait, let me call my woman. She will probably have a better advice or a better suggestion. You call her, babe, see this, see what is happening, see what I'm about to do. What do you think? She will give you an intellectually sound advice. Why would you not love that woman more? Why would you not 
but respect that woman till the day you die. Why would you not like her like like crazy? Like crazy. Your woman can't even run your business because she's empty upstairs and you're happy being with that woman. Ha! Huh. Like some of you really uh, sometimes I just when I see the kind of women that some of you guys are dating, I just like I feel like beating up some of you. Because like what are you dating? You see a man who is doing well for himself, only to go and date or marry an empty woman who basically will eat down his wealth, eat down his finances. And tomorrow you start saying women are evil. You are the one that caused your problem because you messed up when it was time to choose a woman for yourself. Men are responsible for all their all the problems they face with women because you just weren't smart enough to choose. A right woman for yourself. That's the truth. That's the fucking truth. That's the gospel truth. That's it. If you cannot choose a, the right woman for yourself, then you are basically going to be a failure in life. That's simple as that. The fifth thing your woman must bring to the table is intimacy. I'm not talking about just sex. Intimacy has to has many other forms. Romantic gestures, cooking for you. Those things that those things are intimacy, forms of intimacy. My woman was cooked for me for me to be with her. That for me, that's a, a huge deal. That's a big deal for me. It was able to cook for me my best meals for me to be with, for me to even like you more, for me to treat you well as a woman. It was cooked my best meals for me. It was able to satisfy my stomach. Also, have this as a prerequisite before you decide to date any woman. Let your woman be the kind of woman that knows how to match your energy sexually. Calling, kissing you, buying for you nice stuff, being romantic to you. Probably you had a bad day at work. Then as you came back, you were not you know, looking okay. You were frowning or you were stressed. And she tells you, babe, don't worry. I'm going to cook your best meal. She goes to the kitchen, prepares your best dish and bring for you and massage you. All those things are forms of intimacy. Your woman must bring these things to the table. Don't date girls who believe I, I, I don't care. I can't do this for a man. Don't do, don't, fuck. Like, I feel like transferring my brain to most of you guys who are watching my video so that you guys can know how to be with women, can know how to select the right women for yourself. If a woman is not giving you this kind of intimacy, don't settle for, don't, don't be with her. Women always say, I cannot settle for less. You as a man also say it. I cannot settle for less. A woman must give you a woman must give you all forms of intimacy for you to be with her. Cooking for you, calling with you, massaging you, emptying your bones. Then another form of intimacy is also digital intimacy. When you go to work, does she check on you? When you travel on business on business trips, does she call you to know how your day went? There is a guy I know personally. This guy can go out and stay outside his house for five days and his wife not even his girlfriend his wife will not even call him for once because she doesn't care and the guy is still with that woman <laughs> and like sometimes i just like i get tired of some of you guys the kind of women you date so guys that's basically it on today's video make sure your woman is giving you all these five things make sure that she's bringing all these five things to the table else don't date her Simple as that.